Flowers need lots of stuff to grow. They need sunshine and water and dirt and lots of love. But sometimes flowers don't get that stuff. Sometimes people forget to water them. Sometimes they get stepped on. Sometimes bad people try to cut them down. I see sky. No child should have to go through abuse. A child should always be a, a child, happy to run around, happy to play, happy to smile, ha be loved. And some children do not have that. What a wonderful world. The Children's Athlete Center is a one-stop shop um, where children come in for abuse investigation. place where families can come and get justice for what's going on. It's where they can come to get counseling, to get services, to get medical exams, forensic interviews. Everything's in one place, so families don't have to go to different places to get the help that they need. We have staff that have experience working with children and are very, very passionate about what they do. So when they do meet with the child, they're able to comfort that child. Some of the children that come to us on their worst days are in a state where it's probably very hard for them to speak, and that's where our expertise comes in, to be able to ensure that a child is comfortable and that their voice is heard. Being able to call together a team of professionals, the best in their field, to come and protect our children here in uh, Central Florida is incredible. If they didn't exist or if they weren't here readily available, we'd lose crucial evidence in the case. You know, we wouldn't be able to get justice for some of these kids. We come together as a team to make sure that our families get the proper level of care so that our families can go from being victims to being victors over the sexual and physical abuse that they have experienced. The hands of God it's important for the children to go through the healing process so that they don't have to carry the pain through the rest of their lives. Therapy is not about the child forgetting what happened to them because that's not gonna happen. Therapy is about them overcoming and working through what happened to them. One of the things that makes me want to help children is that one, they didn't ask to, to be abused and two, that they're so resilient and that they can get better with the right help. The children come to us broken. They look almost like uh, wilted flowers. The child hasn't had water, hasn't had fertilizer, hasn't had sun for a long time. But this team's able to be that. The team's able to give it water, give it fertilizer, give it love. And at the end of the process, we can see the flower again blooming up and, you know, it's, it, the child's a kid again. To see a child thriving and healthy and happy with big smiles on their face is probably the most rewarding part of our jobs. I don't wear a cape, I don't have an S on my chest, but um, at the end of the day when these kids come up and they look us right in the face and they smile and they thank us for what we've done, that makes us the superhero for the day. When a child leaves the Children's Advocacy Center, I want them to know that they were heard. I want them to know that they have a voice, that they should use it. And I want them to feel strength in that. And I want them to feel brave. Because what they did was brave. Special thanks to the Dr. Phillips Charities for their support of the Children's Advocacy Center.